Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a mini drugstore haul video. Um, I just have wanted to go over like some of the things that I've gotten in the last few weeks from the drugstore and or Walmart slash, you know, Target, that kind of thing. And some of them I've already done videos on or talked about, so I will mention that as I go through them. Here are a few new things. This is the Ardell um, Lashes and Lash Lights. So these are a lot thinner than the other lashes. And look how thin the lash band is. Like, you don't need, you know, a long, big, thick line of black liner in order to make this work. It's a really thin line. So, um, I think that these will be good for, like, kind of everyday use and not, like, for that glamorous night out. I do have lashes for a night out, but those are a nice, natural set. I think I'll take those on vacation. Um, next, we have the L'Oreal Paris uh, Voluminous uh, Mascara in Carbon Black. I have heard so many things about this one and their telescopic mascara. Um, I always shop at CVS for things like this because not only are they on sale, but they also have, um, they send me coupons, 20% off your entire purchase, um, and then I get a coupon like $4 off, $12 worth of cosmetics purchase, and I'm like, Psh, I can do that easy. They sent me a, you know, at the end of my receipt, there was a $3 off your next purchase, the CVS extra care bucks. So these were the $12 purchase I needed. I got $4 off for my $12 cosmetic purchase, that brought it down to $8. I had a $3 off your purchase, brought it down to $5, and then they were both on sale anyway. So that's how you get cosmetics, guys. If you're wondering, how can she have so much makeup? She must make so much money. I'm like, no, I just don't pay full price for anything. Or if I'm going to do it like at Sephora, at least I'm going to get points for it. So I'm going to get free stuff and free samples. Um, okay, so this next two I have reviewed and I have an entire review, so if I remember I'll put these in the comments. These are the um, Revlon Color Stay Gel Envy um, nail polishes. This is the color Showtime and then the top coat. And I really like these. Um, I did review the Sally Hansen gel uh, nail polish and I did not like that. I returned it. Um, these were the comparable price, like within 50 cents. And I think that this one is way better. I actually have it on my toes right now. I really liked it. Um, so I actually was at CVS today looking at them and I was like, oh, I kind of want another one. But um, for now, just the purple and I will probably start building up my collection. Um, I also have a video on these next two. These are the Revlon Lip Butters, the Color Burst. I have Peach Parfait and Raspberry Pie. And um, these are just, they're not really scented. I know I was like kind of hoping they would be based on the scent. Um, the Raspberry Pi color is like really silky and really like almost like satiny on the lips. And it feels really good. And I find that the peach one is like the opposite. It has like little chunks in it. So do you see the glitter or whatever that is? So, I mean, I like the way it looks on lips. I just don't like the way it feels. But it's too late to return it. Um, got that at Walmart. I think they were about four, five dollars a piece. So um, I think they're really good for keeping in your purse too, because these are pretty neutral. I mean, they're basically your everyday kind of colors. Okay, just three more products. I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Ibiza, Ibiza, and um, I bought this um, about a week ago. You know, people were raving about these, and I was really excited. So I thought the Saf Matte Lip Creams were going to be amazing. I don't like the texture. I was really disappointed. The texture, like, make my lips feel sticky, kind of, and then really dry. And there really wasn't an in-between stage where it felt good. It's like it instantly dried to bad. So, honestly, I just don't like matte lip colors. I think that's what it is. But I won't be purchasing any more of these, but I will purchase their um, Mega Shine lip glosses and their butter glosses because I love the way those feel on the lips. Two more products. This is not even drugstore. This is dollar store. And it's crazy. This is the LA Colors Color Glaze um, nail polish with hardeners. And this is the color Flicker, I think. And I have had this on my nails for like five days. And it's pretty sheer. Um, let's see. My nails don't look perfect anymore. But do you see how like you can see the, um, let me get a better finger. You can see the, like the rings on my nail, like the calcium lines and all that stuff. And you can see through it. I've had, this is four coats. You can still see through it. It's very sheer, but these LA color glaze, color craze nail polishes are actually really good for a buck. Um, I got the yellow cause I don't own any yellow and I just thought, oh, this will be fun for the weekend. I bet you since it's a dollar store, a lip, uh, nail polish, it'll only last like a day, but 
surprisingly it's held up really well. I'd say this has held up better than like a lot of the L'Oreal, Revlon, Milani, Maybelline, not Milani. I don't think I've tried Milani. Does Milani have nail polish? I don't even know. Um, but this held up better than a lot of the drugstore polishes. So not as good as the Sally Hansen or like OPI or something, but it did pretty well. Um, one negative is the uh, sheerness of the polish. Like I can still see the whites of my nails through it. But if you know that going into it and you purchase it, I think it's a really good deal. Um, and then also like if you're going to get like wild color like yellow, um, maybe, you know, you spend more on your everyday colors. But for a color like yellow, you don't want to spend $8 on it. I actually did a whole review on that, so I'm going to stop. <laughs> one last product, and I did a review on this one too. This is the Revron Parfumerie Scented Nail Enamel in Pink Pineapple. So it smells like nail polish going in. It looks really French and cute. Um, and then once you paint your nails, it smells like pink pineapple. Then they have a whole line of these with different scents, different colors, even some different finishes. And it did smell really good, but the application was really streaky, and it was like impossible to not have it be streaky. Like you went from not enough polish to like streak city. And I tried one coat, I tried two coats, I tried three coats, I tried a light hand, a heavy hand, and they just didn't look good. So this is actually getting returned to the store. I used it once, it lasted me about a day, maybe a day, maybe two, and it is going back to the store. So that is my mini drugstore haul. Um, if you've tried any of these products, or maybe if you know of any other colors in these lines that I need to try, let me know. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.